<laughs> hey, Chris, before we get started on this episode, I had a little viewer mail I'd like to share. Okay. This is from uh, Jeffrey Geeter. Uh, this was about segment one of uh, episode 23 over on YouTube is where it comes from. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Jeffrey says, you're wrong. The USS Enterprise is lunch in 2245 under the command of its first captain, Robert April. So I'm going to stop the video here and let you get your facts straight, but I understand where you're coming, where you're, <laughs> where, where you, where you are coming that, th- I, coming from, I guess is what he's trying to say, but it says coming thou. I'm not going to beat up on his spelling too much because I do that in, in comments all the time where I get all like wound up and then read it an hour later. I'm like, I, those aren't even English words. The particular section we're talking about here, we're talking about where shows fit in and not where individual captains fit in. So my response was, make sure I get this correct here. This is about when shows happened, not when ships launched for the very first time. So you're wrong. I'm going to stop reading here and let you rewatch the episode and clean your ears out. But I get where you're coming from. No, it's just because we didn't talk about Robert April because there's never been a show with Robert April. So when we talked about the Enterprise launching with its first captain, I'm talking about Pike because that's the first captain we see it launch under. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right. So we have the what was this? The sixth episode, season two of Discovery, Sound of Thunder. Well, I guess we start with uh, Burnham and Tilly continue to go over the records recovered from the Sphere, while Saru is undergoing an examination in sick bay, where he sees Doctor Colber kind of looking all like, um, well, like a character on my so-called life. He doesn't look real happy. <laughs> He's it looks a, uh, completely bewildered as to where he's at and how he got there. Yeah, he looks a little, a little under, <laughs> a little under amused with life right now. <laughs> Thinking back on his own experience, Rue counsels him that perhaps feeling like less like who you were, you were going to feel more like who you were meant to become, which is kind of an interesting thought, you know, by not not being so in connection with who you were yesterday, kind of sets you up better to be who you are today. Yeah, and I, I kept, I, I, again, during this whole time where Culber's back, but Stamets, I feel bad for him too because he's <laughs> he's trying to have things go back to his normal, and uh, it's very super obvious, especially in this opening scene, that Culber is having exactly none of that. Yeah. Yeah, there were, there were things I found interesting and things I found just to be kind of off-putting about the way they handled their relationship here for, for the next several episodes but uh, well yeah plus um the way Stamets goes into that backstory about a scar that no longer exists on cobra struck me as super weird for how much detail he put into it yeah yeah <laughs> there, there were a couple weird things on there but you know what was funny so when this came out i was going through a divorce and I had briefly run around with a couple of girls I shouldn't dated and tried to immediately get them to keep a toothbrush in my drawer just in case they wanted to spend the night, you know. <laughs> and I was thinking about that when Stamets was doing his, like, hey, everything's, you know, everything's right back to normal. And and Culver's like, no, it's really, really not. I've got an appendix that I haven't had for 30 years. Yeah, that would be a, a crazy situation to find yourself in yeah. so and like i said i feel I, I feel bad for both of them in this whole this whole situation oh absolutely yeah dr pollard who i guess was the doctor while colber was dead goes over the results of saru's examination remarking that evident anatomical changes hey from enduring vahari was that the cartilage that had housed his threat ganglia was now forming into accommodate a new keratin based tissue like teeth <laughs> <laughs> and she was wondering if this seems about right. And Saru's like, I, pff, I wouldn't know. <laughs> no idea. No one's ever come back from this. Yeah, so nobody's ever seen the other as, side of this trip. As far as I know, I'm the first. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and even Saru here is going through the same thing that Cobra's going through. I mm-hmm. mean, not to the same extent, but uh, there are definitely parallels to their two stories here. Oh, yeah. Uh, 